Yo, yo, yo! This is Solo, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Facial Gum, also known as Grunt. The artist team's called Grunt. And this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, another week of Champion Stadium, that means another week of anti-free-to-play. Play. Madness. So, here we go, guys. This is an anti-free-to-play run of Champion Stadium. 1,500 points. By anti-free-to-play, I mean I cannot use any free-to-placing pairs, any 4-stars, any 3-stars, any whatsoever. Everything is 5-stars. Every single team has at least one seasonal. And with that said, very easy parameters. Strength plus 6, HP plus 6, ally move gauge max minus 2, strength plus 3. We are starting off with Will, followed by Bruno, followed by Koga, followed by Karen. Round 1, use status conditions and other conditions against all opponents. We are going to use these sync pairs. Plumeria for poison. And by the way, Plumeria is going to get a 6-star EX sometime this month. So looking forward to that. Spring May is our seasonal. And Piers over here is our tanker. Um, Plumeria over here has um, inertia. The higher her speed is, the stronger her sing moves are. And the way to increase our speed is with Spring May, Hippity Hoppity sharply raises the speed of all allied sing pairs. Headbutt can flinch the opponent if we're lucky. And then Pierce is there to obstruct. And every time we obstruct, we can uh, avoid a move. I'm not sure if I gave him... So he has block and heal, block and lunge, obstruct MP refresh. He also has uh, another grid, which is the unyielding grid, which I did not use. But anyway, let us try this and let's see how things go. How many retries will we need? Let, us begin. let me know. By the way, give this a thumbs up right now. And okay, here, here we go. go. I'm gonna start Hippity Hoppity Dar Hit All. Slightly late with the Dar Hit All, but it's okay. I'm using Hippity Hoppity again. I'm gonna obstruct right now. Avoid the next attack of the opponent. I'm gonna use Sludge Wave. X Defense All. Probably gonna use a potion soon. I'm gonna avoid that attack. Probably use a potion. Okay guys, time to use a sync move. X defense all again. We're lowering the op opponent's defenses every time he lands a physical attack on us. Inertia, but that was not a critical hit. Opponent flinch, but doesn't mean anything. Obstruct did not do an MP refresh, which is pretty sad. Can we make the opponent flinch after it uses a sync move? This is a physical attack. We can use a sync move again. The opponent did not flinch. I think I'm dead. So I'm gonna use 
checked out my name to give me an endure status again. Which is not cool because there was no MP refresh whatsoever earlier. And there is no MP refresh, so I'm gonna use, uh, I mean, there is no... Nothing good earlier, so I'm gonna use Chat My Name again. Flinching! Awesome! Can you give me another MP refresh? Awesome! Sludge Wave again. Shout My Name again. move can you give me another MP refresh no more oh well oh I flinched I flinched this time the enemy is still alive amazing <laughs> Can we survive? I think... I think we should. Yes, we won, guys. That's it. This is done. Unless this misses. But that's done. Looking forward to 6-star EX Plumeria. I bet you guys did not expect... Spring May to synergize well with Plumeria. This is a weird combination. Striker, striker, synergizing. But yeah, it works. It works. So let's move on. Plumeria is often rarely used as well in battle. People like to use Poison Stall instead and some other methods. Koga. You rarely see Plumeria being used, guys. But she's she's really good. She's really good. Okay. Bruno, use field effects that give your team the upper hand. Okay. Preset teams. I'm using this instead. So I have two seasonals here. We have Palentine's Dawn and Springbird. Um, Springbird to increase our defenses over here with uh, happy colors then there's potion master heater and potion mp refresh and then if we're able to land a super effective move on the opponent using metronome everybody gets to recover some hp and then once we use a sync move the um passive skill of him the catalyst will increase or speed up our move gauge now since the inherent parameters of the stage is use field effects basically Field effects will be permanent. And then, over here we have Bianca, who's gonna use Psychic Terrain. Psychic Terrain will be infinite as well because of the inherent parameters. Now, we also have in her, this is a brand new synchro that I am using. We have Brain Teaser. The lower the opponent's special defense, the stronger our moves are. Um, the way to lower the opponent's special defense is Psychic. But we are using someone else to help us. By the way, the sync move also has a multiplier. The lower the opponent's special defense, the stronger the sync move is. We're using Palentine's Dawn fake tears to help lower the opponent's special defense. So that's how it works. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna focus on lowering the opponent's attack first because strong and troublesome if we do not lower the opponent's special attack or attack stat. So I'm gonna start with Psychic Terrain, Happy Colors, and Charm. After this, I'm gonna use You Snooze, You Lose two or three times. Depends on how MP Refresh does. 
charm lowers everyone's attack stat. I'm going to follow the opponent center, right, center, left. Does Snoozy lose again? No MP refresh there. Attack minus two. Let's charm the center once again. Am I going to get an MP refresh? No. Sword power. And guys, I'm going to use a sync move using Togepi to speed up my move gauge right now. Charm on the left side opponent. And this will speed up my move gauge. I'm going to use Charm once again. And after that, I'm going to start lowering the opponent's special defense. If I run low on HP, I just use a potion just to be safe. I think I'm still safe. Okay, time to lower the opponent's special defense. I think I can tank that. Good. Let me use a sync move. And let me use a potion just to be safe. Let's see. I'll use Fake Tears. I'll use Stored Power. I'll use Metronome. Trying to lower the others now. Charm as well. Strong damage! Oh yeah! Say goodbye, enemy. Say goodbye. Lynching, no problem. Go! Goodbye, opponent. Kaboom! Nice. That's it! Next! Koga! Use sync moves quickly against all opponents. Guys, um, this one I'm not sure about because... Normally it's um, Getsis we use or we use Summer Steven and my Summer Steven is 1 out of 5. Getsis is free to play. I cannot use Getsis. So um, yeah, 
Let's do this guys and by the way again if you have not yet given this a thumbs up Hit the thumbs up button right now. We're continuing with round three. We are using Cygnus with Blue as our tanker. Champion Iris as, you know what, I think Champion Iris should be my main striker over here. But I think I'm gonna keep the uh, gears as dark type. Wait, why are these steel types? Um... I can go dragon or dark. I think I'll go dark type. But late, later on, it's champion iris that will do the bulk of the damage. But sync move is gonna be fall hilbert until the very end. And with that said, let's begin. Lower the opponent's attack and... Awesome, lowering the opponent's um, defense as well here. I'm increasing my attack stat. Just don't get poisoned. Because if you do, that would be very uncool. I'm gonna lower the opponent's special attack right now. Snarl. I'm gonna use a sync move. I don't know if I wanna use RAR or not. Probably later. Ooh, the opponent's trying to raise its special attack stat. I'm trying to bring it down. Okay guys, now I'll use RAR. Lower the special attack. Opponent's defense negative 6 because um, Champion Iris' lucky skill is defense crush 2. By the way, I think I forgot to show the sync grids of the earlier sync pairs. I think I'll show it to you guys after this. Special attack at negative 6 now. Fall Hilbert will do the sync move. And now start to deal the bulk of the damage. Champion Iris. Crunch. Oh, I missed. Dragon Rush. Flinch the opponent. There you go. I missed. I'll just use X defense all. And because of piercing gaze, I think. Champion Iris gets Piercing Gaze. We will not miss. Who to use the sync move? Champion Iris, help me out. Why Champion Iris? Sync Nuke. Sync Nuke. If this is a critical hit, opponents sure taking it down. There you go. Awesome. There you go. 
Now, whatever happens, we have an endure status and we are sure to live. There you go. Boom! Done. So before I continue to the next battle, let me share some uh, moments to discuss about these three sync tiers. So a 3 out of 5, Cygna Suit Blue gets access to two very important sync grid tiles. That's Team Triage Tank and T Team Fist Bump. Team Triage Tank, basically if you get hit, um, you have a chance of recovering some HP. Or everyone has a chance of recovering some HP, that's Team Triage Tank. Team Fist Bump, when you attack, it's the same thing. And then Smart Cookie, the higher your defense stat is, the stronger your attacks are. Impervious stats cannot be lowered. And that's basically for Cygnus with Blue. When he uses a Sync move, Everyone gets an Endure status because of Safety Net. And every time you get hit, everyone's stats, either Special Attack or Attack or both, is increased by 1. Force Field 4, 40% chance, around 40% chance of increasing um, everyone's Special Defense when you use an attack. Champion Iris, um, Breaking Swipe, lowers everyone's attack by 2. Snarl lowers everyone's special attack by 2. Passive skill, double drop, basically from 1 becomes 2. Piercing gaze, attacks never miss. Power loving, the lower the opponent's stats are, the stronger our moves are. We gave her defense crush 2 so that when this triggers, everyone's defense will go down minus 2 as well when we use breaking swipe and snarl. And over here, we have pecking order. The lower the opponent's attack is, the stronger our sync move is. Devastation, the lower the opponent's special attack is, the stronger our sync move is. We have uh, triple threat dragon rush. The lower the opponent's stats are, the stronger our sync move is. And because 6 star EX, our sync move is 1.5% more power or 1.5 times more powerful. Fall Hilbert here. Um, basically, insult to injury. The lower the opponent's defense is, the stronger our crunch and uh, other attack is. Haymaker, the higher our attack stat is, the stronger sync moves are. The faster we are, the stronger our attacks are. And because 6 star EX, everyone gets hit when we use a sync move. And that's it. That's it for this team. Let's move on to the final one, which is Karen. I have the same parameters. I am going to use this team. And Raihan is going to be my main striker here. Because Raihan has Rock Slide, has a moderate chance of making the opponent flinch. Passive skills, head start 1, reduces sync move countdown by 1. Ferocious Entry, Attack and Special Attack, plus 4 immediately at the start of the battle. Um, we also have... Um, I think we also have Tough Cookie. The higher our defense is, the stronger our attacks are. And then that's, that's basically what I want to discuss about Raihan. We will increase our attack stat with Comfy if Layup helps us... Um, do an MP refresh, we're able to increase the defense a bit higher. Comfy basically, um, when we get hit, there's a chance of reducing our sync move countdown by one. The higher the, our HP is, the stronger our moves are. And then, not really much to say about Comfy except she's our tanker. And then, Kukui over here just lowers the opponent's defense using Leer. Accelerock at 3 out of 5 has a very, very, very high chance of flinching the opponent. Then we have Hunter's Instinct. The lower the opponent's speed is, the stronger our moves and sync moves are. I am not gonna even bother with that. I'm gonna focus on Raihan for this one. So with that said, time to battle. Bring it on! 
Subscribe if you haven't, guys. Join Spatial Force. Click on the join button. Become a member of my channel. Let's do this. Gonna boost myself, X region all, and Lear. From here, I start to use Rock Slide, Rock Slide, Rock Slide. Come on. Gonna recover. I'm gonna just use Lear. Strong damage, but that's only for the first one. We're gonna try and make this Hunch Crow flinch with Accelera. Sometimes we get a bit unlucky, we just need to do a Restart, but let's see. Will the opponent flinch? No, the opponent did not flinch. We did not survive. We restart this. Hopefully, better luck with the next one. Or, you know, our, our first attack can be Accelerock. Just try and make the opponent flinch immediately. So, top this, X region all in Accelerock. But the opponent uses physical shield this time. Which does not really matter. Let's try to use Accelerock on this one. Nice. Since our HP is full. Use a sync move. Woo refreshing will bring back the uh, the MP of Accelerop. Try to make the opponent flinch again. Make the other opponent flinch. Impatient, reduce our sync move countdown by one. Again with Wu refreshing. We did not lower the opponent's defense this time, guys. Accelera. Yeah. 
This time, I'm gonna use Lay Up and recover everyone's HP after the opponent's Sync move. Oh, Kukui is dead? What? That was not expected. Let us use another layup, recover some more HP. Come on, you got to faint, enemy. I did not expect Kukui to faint, guys. This is not so good. Can you flinch? If the opponent does not flinch, we still have a chance now. But we need the opponent to flinch more. If not, we're dead. We are so dead. We are so dead. We are so dead. Ah! Darn it! Darn it! Let's do this again. Come on, I did not expect Kukui to faint. Entertain me. Again! This time I'm using Leer. Leer again. Nice. This should work much better. I use a sync move. Try to make the opponent flinch. Nice. Okay guys, enemy's defense is at negative 6 now. I'm gonna use lay up. It's time.
Please flinch, enemy. Please flinch. Ooh. No MP refresh. Awesome. Flinch! Flinch! No flinching. Dead. Hoping for a flinch. Right now. Come on. Flinch! You got a flinch! Ah, you got a flinch. There you go. Sing move. Okay. One more attack. It's so close. Oh my goodness. So slow. Oh my goodness. Come on. Ah. So close. So close, guys. Done. Okay guys, last battle. And again, give this a thumbs up if you haven't. Let's move on to the conclusion of this one. Lance, use sync moves as much as possible against all opponents. I'm using use field effects that give your team the upper hand for this one. And for this, I'm using my final team, which is this. Um, Lily, Alola Lang Sign basically blocks status conditions from hitting us. And then uh, once we use a sync move, everyone gets regen. Um, Gloria over here, Behemoth Blade and Glorious Behemoth Blade basically kind of doubles in power in the damage when the opponent has a sync buff. It's very powerful. And then we have Holiday Rosa. With all the presents, uh, makes the move gauge accelerate, and that's why we're choosing the infinite or permanent field effects. It will raise a random stat, and then X attack all will raise our attack stat of everyone. So we can. Um, Gloria, what's missing about Gloria is critical hit rate increase and attack power increase. So once we have that, Gloria becomes a very, very, very strong sync tier. Lily raises our critical attack or ki critical hit rate and Rosa increases our attack stat. By the way, New Year Lily and Rosa are um, seasonals over here. Gloria, we will see how strong she gets in this battle. Here we go, guys. Gonna raise our critical hit rate immediately. Gonna use the Moth Blade, all the presents. I'm gonna use Alola Lang Sign immediately after. We're raising our evasiveness with a Lola Lang sign. Raising some random stats with all the presents. And sadly, there's no empty refresh. Go! 
I'm gonna use New Year Lily first for the sync move. Making Making our um Gloria super powerful after this. I'm very low on HP. Not sure if Leech Life will we are gonna survive for a leech life, I'm not sure. Oh, we did not survive, but it's okay. Because we will be able to survive this. And just look at that Behemoth Blade damage increase after Lance uses his Sync move. Our defenses aren't high though. It's kind of worrying me. Oh! Again! Very bad. Very bad. Come on! Come on! Using Holiday Rosa is pure RNG. Okay, let's do this again. Speed accuracy, speed evasiveness, speed special attack, speed... Come on, increase my defenses or something. Speed evasiveness, speed accuracy, speed special defense. I need defense. Normal defense. Speed defense. Oh, there it is. Speed defense. Um, I want New Year Lily to do the sync move. Let me recover some HP. Good, recovering quite well.
Let's have a bit of fun. Okay, guys, time for a sing move. Ten thousand damage. Ooh, we're really dead, but it's okay because this attack will one shot everyone. Kaboom! Oh my gosh, that wasn't enough. Okay, I was expecting it to kill off everyone. Oh well, let's just finish this. Goodbye. Done. Done. That's it, guys. That's it. That was our anti-free-to-play run. Or anti-free-to-play lineup for Champion Stadium. Wave number... What wave is this? Is this 41 or something? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you haven't. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Because I do this every single week. And stay tuned because I'm gonna do a seasonal run for this one as well. Yes, it's wave number 41 of Champion Stadium. So only, not really only seasonals, but every single team will have a seasonal as the main attacker. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, this is Sol, also known as Spiel Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. The artist team's called Grunt. These are the sync pairs we use. And that's it. See you in the next video. Thank you to all the members of my channel. Shadowfield, Sony, Nicholas, Mordes Gaming, Aryan Singh, Blaze, John909, Popio Gaming, Roy Ackerman, Luca Midi, Armakose, Popwat, and Vishal for the support. See you guys. Ram!